All right, so I'm gonna do a quick video here on this vehicle. We don't typically do videos on our cars, but this one was a little over the top and would be a little difficult to just depict only in photos. So I figured I would do a video on this one and just kind of show some of the details, some of the little tricks that we've done on this car to make it unique and different than any other one that we've really done. Um, it is a little dirty. We've been out driving it. Kind of got it in the dirt and drove it in the mud. But overall, you can kind of get an idea of what this thing really is. And it started out, this used to be owned by the Las Vegas Police Department. It was one of their municipality vehicles. I guess it was like a meter made type of vehicle. So it started out as an ELXD. And we picked it up from them for pretty decent price got it back to our shop and it took us about a year to kind of design this you know in the midst of all the other cars that we build on a daily basis we just kind of you know threw all of our ideas on a board and our different build guys came in and said why don't we do this and our fabricator said why don't we try that and our painter said why don't we do this and our upholstery guy every, everybody kind of had an input on this and we came up with this is the end result. Um, we're still kind of finishing up a few things. We're gonna end up doing doing a, a bimini top going across the top of the rear roll cage here. But I'll, I'll kind of focus in on some of the things that we've done on this car and to a, an actual familiar gem tech or someone that knows a lot about these cars, you, you may see some of the little details that we did that makes this one really stand apart from the crowd. Um, Obviously we have our LED headlights, like we always do on all of our builds. We smoke the lenses, like we do on all of our builds. New charge port up front, um, brand new disc brakes and rotors in the front. Calipers, everything is brand new up there. We built our 10 inch lift on this particular car. Normally we do a six inch or an eight inch lift this one, we went ahead and did a 10 inch lift on this one. Um, just kind of wanted it to be a beast. We're, we were like, you know, if we're gonna do it, let's really, really make it nutty. And uh, we didn't want to go so big where you couldn't even get into the thing. Um, but you know, this 10 inch lift was a pretty good happy medium um, with the 27 inch tires. We have Maxxis Ciro's tires wrapped on 15 inch. Um, actually Honda Civic style wheels that we adapted to make work on here They're made by Kudo, but they're six spoke gloss black 15 by 8 and We shot the car. This is actually Mercedes G500 Can't think of the exact name of it. They call it wheatgrass gold or something along those lines but we had actually seen this car a Mercedes parked in a parking lot one day and snapped a quick photo of it and thought man that is a great color for a gem so we decided to do it and then we had our fabricator fabricate this custom roll cage in the rear the bedside rails these are factory gem car um, there is a pin that you pull here and then the bedside rails drop down which is really cool you have dogs or groceries or kids or whatever it is it's kind of a cool idea those lock back in the rear rail drops down this way and then obviously the left side goes down as well um, we installed a tow package on here we actually built a really cool custom step that comes out of here with a tube bar that goes left and right but the problem with it is when you're driving around, it kind of rattles and jiggles and makes a bunch of noise. So I, I didn't really care for that. And I figured if we're gonna climb up there, if anybody's gonna get up there, they can just kind of step on the tire anyways and jump right up and over into the bed. Um, we mounted this seat. This is a 42 inch um, razor style seat that you would see in an RZR or Rhino or something like that. We were going to mount it on the rear facing forward and then we decided to put it up here looking backwards. And then we got the idea, maybe we should do two of the seats and put them facing each other, which would be kind of a cool idea, I guess. Um, this one had the factory hard doors. 
So we actually have the doors, where they're just not on in this video. But uh, this one had the factory mud guards, so we just left them in place when we shot it and kind of shot around that. This one also had the factory heater, so we left the heater in place. That works great. Um, we did a lot of electronics on this car, a lot more than we typically do. We actually rigged up switches in the mirror itself, which I've never done that before. I just was looking at it one day and thought, this is a pretty cool idea. And this is your interior LED light, which lights up the cabin of the car. And then we hooked up this switch up here on the top, which powers the overhead LED light bar. We cut a hole in the roof and added this pop-open sunroof, which faces forward to get the air into your face. Um, kind of a cool feature. As we do on all of our gem cars, we always do low profile seat belts, which are kind of out of the way. The over the shoulder factory belts that come in the gem cars, they typically tend to hang down and they kind of bang up the side of the car and scratch it. So we always do the low profile seat belts unless a customer specifically wants the over the shoulder belts. Then we'll install those, of course. Um, this one has the new Kenwood Bluetooth sound system. We pretty much do these in every car that we build. Um, you know, two six and a halfs up front, two six by nines on the bottom facing forward. Uh, this one has our dual 3.0 amp USB charge ports. You could turn this on or off the touch of a button here. Um, we did our normal LED lights on this car, and this comes with a remote control, which I don't even know where it is at this point, but. There's a remote that you can point and change the colors, any color you want, blue, red, orange, green. You can make it flash to the music, whatever you want. I like, I think the blue looks the best, so I always kind of leave them on blue. We also, on this car, added a second LED light system here, and we did a set of rock lights on this car. I don't typically do rock lights, but our team was thinking, that's kind of a cool idea. Why don't we do that? So we mounted rock lights that shine down. It's all con controlled by an app. So you just open the app on your phone and you can, any color you want, music mode where it dances or flashing mode. And that's controlled by this switch down here. Uh, we added this separate switch here. So you can power this anytime you want. Gem cars don't have a hot switch when you put them in reverse. Uh, they, I mean, they may have one, I just, to me, it's easier just to run up a switch whenever you want it. And when you flick the switch on, we installed a LED night vision reverse camera. So you can see the lights lit up on that. Kind of helpful with this big, the big chassis like the E6s and the ELXDs. It's kind of cool to have that. And it's nice, you can turn it on anytime you want. So you don't have to have the ignition on. You don't have to have the car in reverse like a normal vehicle would. Um, this car, we hooked up, this is just a basic Duralast gold, um, you know, small style battery. And we hooked these up for all of our auxiliary systems. Unless you're running like big car amps and subwoofers and all that type of stuff, um, you would obviously need a much bigger battery than that. But for a typical auxiliary battery type of setup, for running a sound system or LED lights or whatever, that battery is perfectly fine for what it is. We hooked up the charging system on this side for that. And that way when you plug it in, this one is lithium ion compatible. You just touch the button, you reach in and just push that button when you plug it in and it can convert over to lithium. That way if you ever change that little auxiliary battery out to a lithium battery, then you have the ability to charge that. I'm trying to think what else. Um, this car here, we went ahead and made this where you could fold the seats up if you wanted to put groceries down there or gain access to the lower side. Another really cool feature that we did on this one, I've never really done this on any other gem car, and we've built a lot of them, but I've never really done this on a gem before. But what I did is if you look inside... It's kind of hard to see. Maybe I could put the camera up like this. We built a battery tray extension. So we essentially extended where the batteries go 
all the way to the back of the car here and we made a platform underneath and we carpeted the top of it, made a lip all the way around. And what we're going to do in the future is we're going to cut like an RV style door right here with a latch. And then that's gonna open up on a hydraulic ram and then you'll be able to put groceries or luggage or bags or whatever and it will be hidden up inside the bottom of the car and no one will even know that it's there. This car is getting a brand new 72 volt Samsung lithium ion battery pack. It currently has a 155 amp hour sealed uh, AGM batteries in it now. Um, the only reason why we put those in is because we're just waiting on the battery to arrive. As soon as it comes in from FedEx, we'll drop that in the car, remove these big heavy batteries and drop the lithium battery in and it should perform a lot better. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Yeah, a lot, a lot of little tricks that we do that most people never really even probably think about. You know, we obviously, we always do new lighting. We smoke all of our lenses. This one, we added lights back here on this rear pillar. And these are just wired into the turn signals. And then up in the front here, I shouldn't say in the front, up in the rear here, we always add these LED strips back here on the rear B pillars. It's just something that I think is a cool feature. Um, it just gives a little bit of added safety in the rear. It, it may not look like much here, but at nighttime, you know, when you're just running two little smoked lights that are down here, it's not all that safe. So when you have the big upper pillar lights there, it really lightens it up at nighttime. And then we always, always do wire those into the signals. So when you turn the signals on, You'll be, you, you can see why we added these in the rear here. Typically, the way that we wire them is this lower left and upper left would blink when the signals were on, also when the brakes are applied. Um, this one here, we changed it up a little bit and we wanted the safety in the rear here. So those are just always gonna be running lights up so. And then in the back here, these two are your signal lights. When you hit the brakes, this light comes on, this light comes on, obviously the two on the right side, and then the upper third brake light, which is kind of covered by the roll cage in this instance. It still operates. It just, the way that we built the roll cage, it just kind of was covered, which is why we kind of added the extra light back there. It's letting me know the blinkers have been on for too long. Um, one other thing, we always do on all of our gems is we always do the, you know, oversized mirrors. We always do the four panel interior mirror just for added rear visibility. All of our cars get the new floor mats, uh, seat belts. There's just a lot of little things. And as the more I look at it, the more I'm kind of seeing it. This one here, we did our EV Designs sidestep rockers. These are actual Nerf bars that are mounted to the frame of the car. I weigh 215 pounds, so when I, I can step up here and climb right up like nothing. This car also has the front EV Designs pre-runner bumper. This is something we offer on most of our lifted gems. And obviously, you see the roll cage, which we do on all of our cars. We've had some people over the years that have asked us, like, why do you mount them on the inside of the roof like that? It's only touching the plastic. Of course, it's not touching the plastic. The frame goes up to here. So we always make them where they mount to the inside of the frame for support. You could put as much weight as you can imagine up there and it's not gonna do anything to the roof at all. And then this one also has the factory gem drop down rails. This, this was all factory. And then our fabricator hand built this roll cage as well, which is really cool. And then our smoke tinted license plate lens cap in the rear. And I can't really think of anything else. Um, obviously the high speed motor, we do that in all of our lifted gems. All, pretty much every gem that we build gets the high speed motor. This car does about 37, 36, 37. When we drop the lithium pack in there, it should do real close to 40 and get every bit of 25 to 30 miles of range. So if you like this car or any other ones that you maybe have an idea of something you might want to do in the future, hit us up. Call us, text us, reach out via email. Check out our website, elevatedesignsllc.com. Thanks for checking it out.